raised beds. That's a raised bed. I'm gonna put onions in there. After they come up and they're a bit settled, I'm gonna cover the whole fucking thing in hay and straw. I'll keep all the weeds down. It might give me some other problems, but let's not worry about that now. Let's just focus on the positives, shall we? It's big, heaped up like that, and it's not that I've gone and gotten loads of soil. That's just the soil that was there, and a bit from the paths on either side of it. This bit, though it's been ploughed, hasn't been finished being dug. So all I have to do is dig it in. Dig off. True, dig, true, dig the whole thing. You need to shovel your soil up. You want to get a nice flat planting area on the top. Pull it up from the sides. This all looks like a waste of space, and it is a waste of space. If I had a plank of wood to put along there, this would be much easier to maintain. But I don't, so this is what we're doing. And if you don't, don't let not having stuff ever stop you. Just go ahead and do it anyway. You find a plank of wood sometime and you put it there. Okay, Kian, stop giving yourself a hard time about it. <laughs> this is gonna be over. Once you dig it, it will aerate and it'll get loose. And you want a good loose soil. Well, how do you want your soil? You want it loose, looser. When you're out in your garden and you're working with your soil, think about me and just think looser. Looser. So I'm going to leave that there for a couple of days. There's already a little bit of manure through it, so I'm not going to feed it. But once I put the onions in, I will be top dressing it. I'll probably like give it a cover of nettles that I cut, maybe some ash from the fire or something. But anyway, I like that. It should, there should be plenty of onions in it to grow a few fucking onions, like. What are you doing, Kean? What are you whacking the soil for? Have you lost it? No. Onions like everything, like a loose soil. They like the top to be firm and compacted because they actually sit quite close to the top. So I've got my onions here. I'm gonna make five little rows, drills, go a foot apart, roughly. Bam, don't get too greedy, give them plenty of space. Make those, we'll do those all the way up along. You get the idea. So you do these neat little things all the way along. Then you get your tiny little bundles of joy. Drills are foot apart roughly. And then about 10 inches apart, put in your other onion. Now I'm gonna do these all, but I'll just do one row now to show you. Do, 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 how many am I gonna get? That's, that's, that's too close. I'm getting too greedy. A little bit wider. Wider. I reckon four. I'll do four on alternately five. When these are nearly ready for harvest, they should practically be sitting on top of the soil. So don't get them down too deep. If you can see that thing sticking out grand. Now imagine they grow up a little bit and it comes up like that a bit. So you just take a little bit of soil like potatoes and you fill up around them. So you're gonna end up using all this soil in between your rows to like shore up your rows. Just put them in, they'll grow, then you see where they are, then you fill them over, and weed in between. You can grow your own way. Uh, that's, it. that's probably the team tune. <laughs>